It's called a passport, but it's really a fortress, crafted in silence, guarded by science. This is how US passports are made. They're not printed, they're engineered to protect. So what exactly are they made out of? At first glance, these pages look like paper, right? That's not even close. Next-gen US passports begin with sheets of polycarbonate, a high-performance plastic. It's the same one used in bulletproof glass and armored vehicles. This means that it's durable, tamper-resistant, and perfect for engraving microscopic security features. These sheets form the backbone of the document, engineered not for appearance, but for resilience and precision. The polycarbonate is manufactured through a meticulous chemical process, typically starting with a compound called bisphenol A combined with sodium hydroxide and diphenyl carbonate. Then it's carefully treated with organic solvents and ethanol. The result? Super cool science words and this tough, transparent polymer sheet. But the real genius is what you can't see. Inside the material are embedded fibers, tiny hair-like threads that can reflect under UV light. They're irregular by design, making them nearly impossible to replicate. Some passports even embed these optically variable inks that change color depending on the viewing angle. From the start, every material used is chosen to resist heat, light, water, pressure, and forgery. Before a single name is printed, the passport is already a shield. A shield built from layers of chemistry, physics, and maximum defense. And it's definitely not done in your average printer. Most people never wonder where their passport comes from. It just shows up in the mail, a small blue booklet that opens borders. But behind it is a vast network of precision and national responsibility. In the United States, these passports are produced under a tightly controlled collaboration between the U.S. Department of State and the U.S. Government Publishing Office, or GPO. It's not just printing pages. The GPO operates a secure production facility in Washington, D.C., where next-gen passports are born. Only a select number of government-cleared employees ever step foot inside. The State Department oversees personalization, ensuring that your name, photo, and biometric details are embedded into the physical document. But before it gets to that point, the GPO manufactures the blank books with all of their complex layers of embedded security. This entire process evolved out of necessity. See, counterfeiting surged in the 1990s, and as global threats expanded, the U.S. began redesigning passports like their security devices. That philosophy shaped today's next-gen version. Every page, every fiber, every embedded thread is a quiet product of two federal forces working in tandem to protect the integrity of international identity. Security in a passport doesn't just come from materials, it's in the design. And every square inch is a battlefield against forgery. Take the cover. This iconic blue is an ordinary ink. It's intaglio printed, raised, and deeply textured, really hard for machines to mimic. Inside, the design gets even more intricate. Each page of a US passport is printed with microtext, words so small that they're invisible to the naked eye, but crystal clear under magnification. Then comes these galoche patterns, complex swirl designs that shift color under UV light. These are algorithmically generated, unique to each passport, and virtually impossible to replicate with commercial printers. The passport also carries a ghost image, a faint, secondary version of your ID photo embedded in the data page. Added to that is a holographic overlay, plus latent images that only appear at certain angles. Some features aren't even visible. Hidden UV reactive elements in machine-readable zones are embedded to trigger alarms at borders if anything seems off. And every detail serves a singular purpose, to make the passport instantly recognizable to border agents and utterly useless to criminals. Wondering when it becomes uniquely yours forever? With the security framework in place, it's time to do just that. This is where personalization meets high-precision engineering. Inside the secure federal facility, your photo, name, date of birth, and unique identifying details are laser engraved directly onto the polycarbonate data page. And more than just printing, this is a permanent etching. It's practically cutting into the material itself, making it nearly impossible to alter without destroying the document. Your biometric information, like facial recognition data, is encoded into an RFID chip embedded in the passport cover. 
This chip is shielded by a layer of metallic mesh, preventing it from being skimmed or read without authorization. When you walk through airport scanners, that chip silently syncs with government databases to confirm your identity in seconds. Every passport goes through multiple verification steps before it's ever released. It's all about data accuracy, chip functionality, and structural integrity. If even one detail doesn't align, the passport is pulled and destroyed. That's what makes it more than personalization, and it's protection too. From this point forward, your passport carries the weight of your identity, secured by a digital and physical firewall built to withstand time, travel, and tampering. What's interesting is that security doesn't end with personalization alone. Once the personalization is complete, the passport enters its most tightly guarded phase, final assembly not only by binding pages together. This operation is executed under extreme lockdown. Inside secure US facilities, each passport moves through a controlled assembly line where access is restricted by security clearance, surveillance systems, and biometric checkpoints. Every workstation is monitored and every employee is traceable by role and ID tag and no step goes unrecorded. This is where the polycarbonate data page is seamlessly fused with the rest of the book. Binding is done using high-strength adhesives and stitching with this anti-counterfeit thread, some of it metallic and some color shifting under UV light. Each booklet obviously receives a unique serial number, logged and linked to your personal data. Before packaging, the RFID is rescanned, re-verified, and locked to prevent overwriting. Any flawed or damaged passport is immediately destroyed, with no exceptions. They have shredders on-site built specifically for polycarbonate. Now in its final stretch, the passport is fortified. Every stitch, every byte is monitored, verified, and sealed inside a system built to defend a nation's most personal document. And finally, it's time to send it home. After passing all inspections, your passport is ready. This journey to your hands is carefully controlled too. Completed passports are sealed in tamper-evident packaging and transferred under secured chain of custody protocols. Armed couriers often handle the bulk transport, ensuring that documents never fall into the wrong hands. These shipments move through restricted logistics channels, not the standard postal system. They reach designated mail centers approved by the U.S. Department of State. Once cleared, the passport's finally handed over to USPS for final delivery. Even here, tracking codes monitor its progress from dispatch to your doorstep. Inside the envelope, you'll find not only your passport, but all this information on how to protect it and what to do if it's ever lost or stolen. Behind the scenes, a digital record of your passport lives in secure federal databases. That means if your document ever goes missing or is tampered with, it can be invalidated instantly anywhere in the world. What arrives in your mailbox may look like a simple booklet, but it's actually weeks of precision, surveillance, and state-of-the-art guardianship. But the passport's true mission runs deeper still. That's because the passport isn't just a travel document, it's a frontline weapon in the fight against global crime. From human trafficking to financial fraud, falsified passports fuel dark networks. But today's US passport shuts those doors. Apart from verifying your identity, its embedded RFID chip, microtext, and forensic level materials expose fakes instantly. Border agents worldwide are trained to read these clues like fingerprints. Behind every scan, international databases light up with risk indicators and alerts. The forged passport might look convincing, but it can't mimic the tech inside. In this silent war, know that your passport isn't just protecting your rights, it actively helps dismantle criminal empires. So, this little blue booklet, it's power, it's proof, and it's protection all in the palm of your hand.